Hello everyone, and welcome to the weekly update for the week of August 16th, 2020. This week's update is a small one, but includes something new. Gondolas. No, not the boat. Well, as well as the gondola cars making their debut, there are also a few other smaller changes and tweaks. Let's get right to it. We'll start off with the improvements made to resets to jobs and trains after updates. When we publish an update to the game that changes the tracks, we need to reset all currently active jobs and despawn all active locomotives. This is necessary, as if we didn't, and moved all the tracks around, the game would not have a good time trying to spawn cars where they used to be. Previously, when we reset everything, there wasn't really any notification. You'd just be where you were last, without any locomotives, and with some strange items where your job booklets used to be. Now, with the improvements made, you'll be teleported to the nearest station that has a locomotive you're licensed to use when you load in, with a note in your pocket letting you know what happened. The broken booklets will be wiped from your inventory, and you'll immediately be ready to take new jobs around the valley. A few more tweaks and things were fixed or changed, like a few track kinks pulled straight, fast travel loading time significantly improved, as well as keyboard control for the caboose independent brake added. Finally, we get to the all-new gondola car. These open-top general stuff carriers and their new associated cargo are available for use in jobs carrying scrap metal from cities and towns to the steel mill for recycling. For now, scrap metal is the only thing you'll see them carrying, but in the future we'll be adding other cargo types for this lovely bucket on rails. That's all for this week's update. For now, drive safe, and we'll see you in the valley.